Hi everyone, this is Dr. Denise DeBus from Rescue My Plant. And today I was checking my garden and I saw that there was a lot of damage on my plants. Let me show you this damage that I was seeing. So you can see here, my strawberry plants have been eaten. And there's holes in all these strawberries, quite a few of the strawberries, as well as my cabbage here has been eaten as well. And there's some damage on these broccoli, as well as some of the spinach. So a lot of different plants have been eaten. So I was trying to figure out, uh, this has been happening for a, a bit of time where I'd started to see just some small holes. And I came out here at night because a lot of, I didn't see any pests as you look under here. You don't actually see any pests. So I have been trying to figure out what is going on. And I came out at night, didn't see anything. So this morning when I saw the significant damage on these strawberries, I decided to dig through the soil because some things will live in the soil at night and come, or live in the soil during the day and come out at night. And I found this pretty substantial size cutworm. He's sleeping right now, he's not dead, he's just, he might actually be pupating uh, because he's a pretty significant size right now. So I found that this has been causing all the damage. And cutworms will cause damage to a lot of different plants. They can cause damage to the strawberries, but also tomatoes, cabbage, celery, potatoes, peppers, um, other cruciferous vegetables. And that's pretty much what I have in this garden right now. So I need to control these suckers because this is probably not the only one I got lucky searching in the soil here. So what am I gonna do about this? I'm gonna just keep this here for now. I'm actually probably gonna stick it in my insect collection. So I need to control it some way. The best way is gonna be to use some BT, so Bacillus thuringiensis, which is a microbial pesticide. It's actually a bacteria that um, has a, when they eat the protein on the leaves, they will, it will kill the caterpillars by eating that protein that's in this bacteria. So it's, it's an organic pesticide and all I need to do is just spray the plants in order to use it. Unfortunately, it has just rained, so I gotta make sure it dries on these plants. Uh, if, if it rains again, it can get washed off and I would have to reapply. It actually can affect carrots as well, which I have right here. So I'm just gonna be spraying it affects beans. So I need to just spray these. And you may need to reapply this pesticide every five to seven days in order for it to work. So you just, you have to monitor your plants, make sure they're not getting eaten because that's gonna affect the produce later. So hopefully this helps you in your garden so that if you have any chewing insects or cutworms, this Bacillus thuringiensis will help with moths that, that will eat your leaves as well as some beetle larvae that might affect them. It doesn't fix everything, but I have been trying to figure out what has been eating my plants and I got lucky and found this cutworm because I was about to put out some diatomaceous earth for anything crawling that to my plants to also fix it. But now I know a specific strategy to use, which is using this BT.